You just hate the poor. Yes, please. Libertarians are often told they must hate the poor because they don't want the government providing welfare. This mischaracterization comes from a lack of understanding about the nature of government and the nature of welfare itself. But to get to the specifics, we must first look at the terms being used to understand their implications. For example, when using the word poor, it is important to remember that poor is a relative term. There are always going to be people who are poorer than others and that they may have fewer resources. Even among seemingly rich people, one rich person may be poorer than the other if they have fewer houses and cars. So, giving context that poor requires a comparative is important to building an understanding of why libertarians do not hate the poor. In historical terms, a rise out of being poor is when people do not have to work as many hours to meet their survival needs of getting clean water, food, shelter, and medical care to avoid death. Today, much of the world has moved out of an impoverished condition, even as there is a growing gap between the richest persons and the average person. If one cared about the poor, that is, did not hate them, and wanted them to meet their needs with less work to become wealthier, one would have to think about what it takes to improve efficiencies in human labor so that the labor of poor people is more productive. If poor people's labor becomes more productive, then the poor can move out of poverty in historical terms because they are able to produce more for the same hours worked in the past. Getting to the point of having more efficiencies requires that people can be rewarded in the security of property for providing efficient value to others, that is, make a profit. And people must be held accountable if they steal from or defraud others because that is taking away from those providing value to others. Those who try to suggest that caring about the poor is only done via the government are missing that they are encouraging a lack of property rights security and theft. When the government takes from people being productive and gives those resources to others by force, the government is disrupting the security of property rights in the taking and is engaging in theft that the poor person would not be able to do if they did it of their own accord. In this way, the welfare state is the opposite of helping the poor, as it is not rewarding people based on providing value to others. Worse, it is the facade of charity. When in reality, the supposed care is being passed off to a faceless state bureaucrat. This means that the argument for welfareism is the argument that someone cannot be bothered to actually perform the charity themselves, and so must have the government commit an act of theft on their behalf to pretend to care about others. If someone genuinely cared about the poor, they would want to help with their own actions, time, and resources. Of course, those who claim to care because they pay taxes are often the ones who cannot be bothered to do anything themselves to help those in dire straits. This hypocrisy is often lost on them. Libertarians care about the poor precisely because they understand that government action hurts the poor the most by slowing productivity that would enable poor people to move out of poverty faster. Libertarians care about the poor because they know how much the government hurts the poor with laws that make it difficult to impossible for poor people to start their own business or homestead their own land free of expensive government taxation and licensure. Libertarians care about the poor because they know just how much perpetual wars, whether overseas in the Middle East or at home with the war on drugs, exploit poor persons with disproportionate targeting and wasted resources. Libertarians care about the poor because they want charity to be voluntary and do not want anyone stolen from, the poor themselves included. So the next time someone tells you that libertarians hate the poor, just ask them what they think creates more wealth for all people. It will highlight just how little they have thought about what is needed to help all people continue to live richer, more sustainable lives. Thank you for watching and supporting my work, and a special thank you to all of my fiducers. Agoras Nexus, The Asian Capitalist, Crawford K. McDonald of ECM Real Estate, and Zach Lakowski. Help me produce more quality content and receive special perks for your monthly support by joining my Patreon, Subscribestar, or Float pages. See you soon! Yes, freeze!